Hello everyone, welcome to the first 2023 Devlock for Chaos cart. Let's get started. Finally, some new ah! champions. We've added two new characters to our roster, Bucky and Tak. These two characters are super different from our current two characters, Mouthboy and Revenera. Bucky serves as more of a tank and a support character. We pulled a lot of mechanics from League of Legends, such as Kled's Shotgun, Thresh's Lantern, the Mario Kart banana that spins you out. Bucky's back toe hook has a bunch of use cases. If you drag it behind you, then if an ally hits it, then like Thresh's Lantern, it'll zip towards partner? you. Whereas if an enemy hits your hook, then it'll I'm spin them out like Mario Kart Banana. Here. Bucky can shoot a shotgun twice before having to reload. Like Revenera, Bucky can aim his shotgun left, right, up, and down. He has two shots before having to force his reload. Bucky calls this truck Betsy, as you can hear from some of the voice lines. Back to the so he shed, called his Betsy. back toe hook Betsy's Hall. We call Bucky's second ability Banjo Hoedown, where he stands up and plays Banjo Gather while round, his cart spins in a circle. This boosts himself and nearby allies as well as gives them a shield. Very reminiscent of Sona from League of Legends. And lastly, Bucky's ultimate, where he's able to stand up with his shotgun through a sunroof and rapidly <laughs> fire three times with a five-shot bolt. And it goes pretty dang far, so if you miss, you probably suck at the game, or maybe you're a boomer, or maybe you just started the game, so you're not that great yet, or maybe there's a skill gap, maybe it's jungle gap, or maybe it's ping, 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 it's a warning, I don't know. We are planning on adding a passive, but I'm not sure about what it's gonna be yet. Anyway. So talk. he's currently in the works, but he's looking really cool, and we have a lot of the cool abilities ready for him. So Tok will be our first shooter character. The main point of his mechanics will be his, his pistol, whereas Bucky is heavily based off of his supporting abilities. In League of Legends or other kind of MOBA terms, is the AD carry type. His charging volt basic attack basically goes off of his drifting mechanics. So the more he drifts, the bigger his next shot will be, like static electricity. Currently, his main ability is going to be his arcing bomb, which is a lot like Zig's bomb, uh, mixed with a Mario Kart bomb. We didn't have Tok's animations ready before PAX. I don't have footage of his gameplay yet. We've also updated our first two characters, Malfoy and Revenera. Malfoy's first ability has been to win. Now it does damage per second while you're inside the circle if you're an enemy, but also deflects projectiles. His second ability, whack a troll currently sucks. We just need to update the user experience for it. Basically, it leaves a big stone behind you, which is kind of cool, but it's really difficult to see what's going on. And so you basically have to like turn on your reverse camera to be able to see if anyone got hit or not, or be able to screen snipe them because you're using a script screen. So I think what probably needs to happen is we need to be able to have the stone form in front of him as he's going through the stone or form right below him and have him jump over the stone, leaving the stone behind and just kind of really having an impactful visual of what's going on. The players were using it and not really knowing what they were doing. Went into the whacking state, hit the ground and didn't know what really happened. Currently the OP maneuver is the spawn stones right in the air where no one will expect you to be able to spawn stones from. <laughs> Lastly, we created Malpoy's ultimate, Ultra Smash. And it's a hit. Similar to the Malphite ult, you can plan on where you want to aim, and you have like an indicator on the ground. When you accept your range, he'll basically jump to it and smash down. Smashing any enemy in the air, and anyone below 5% automatically explodes. Lastly, we have Revenir's updates. Revenir is currently pretty OP. Similar to before, you're able to cast her auto attack similar to Ari's Q, where basically it's a magic ball that goes and then returns, able to hit enemies all in that stretch there and back. Her ability one resonant burst is currently struggling because you have to cast your auto attack and then explode the auto attack. So we're going to rework that into a simple cast explosion. Her ability two Trinity Seekers is currently the reason why she's OP. Similar to the Mario Kart shells that will rotate around her. Basically three magical balls rotate around and heat seek the nearest enemy. And these things are pretty relentless. We will probably have to cut their life span and everything to make sure that they aren't seeking you forever until they absolutely hit you or the game ends. And we actually have a bug right now where the training seekers will still kill an enemy after they've passed the finish line. <laughs> so even if they won, they could still die. Her new ultimate astral arc basically sends her into a long arc and launches down magic missiles, leaving down a slow strip. Each of the landed magic missiles does damage on the way down. Players might want to use this to do damage, but also to escape combat. This ability is very similar to Corky's Engage from League of Legends. One more bonus character that we're working on right now, you may have seen him on our banners and marketing materials, is our newest 
pirate character, Hookbeard. Hookbeard will be a very interesting character because he'll be our first heavy flyer character. So whereas Rebanera is a light flyer, he'll be our first heavy flyer. Flyers have less traction on the road, however, they aren't nerfed from off-roading, such as if they can go over the grass in like Mario Kart where that would normally slow you, a flyer can avoid this debuff completely. But they take a little bit more knock away during combat situations. Anyway, Hookbeard's two side cannons allow for some really interesting gameplay as he can only shoot either hard left or hard right for his basic attacks. So you have to kind of plan when and where you want to shoot. This also allows for is if you're drifting in a 45 degrees, then you're able to shoot sort of in an angle in front or behind you, which allows for some kind of interesting gameplay. Whereas he's probably the only one that will have a behind you adjacent in a way attack like this. We plan on having his cannonballs be able to explode after a certain distance. Similar to Malaboy, Hookbeard is very on the nose and is able to, on his first ability, send off a hook very similar to Nautilus mixed with kind of an auction kind of hook where he's able to either grab terrain to pull himself more forward or he's able to grab onto an enemy and basically pull himself toward that enemy and slowing that enemy on the same time so it kind of like clashes in the, in the middle so he's able to kind of like pass them which is really good for racing and lastly if he hooks onto an ally then he's able to pull himself toward that ally without them having the negative effects of being pulled back or slowed we're still playing his ultimate we're, we're considering a sort of nami from league of legends type ultimate where she sends a wave that kind of goes down in a lane and everything and kind of knocks everyone up and slows them inside the water wave but in this situation he'd actually ride on top of the wave which would be somewhat similar to Revenir's ultimate that's why we need to kind of play and work with it so I'm thinking that a lot of the flyer characters will probably have very escape or in the air ultimates as it kind of would go well with a flying type of character and in his sense he'll be kind of hovering above the land uh, as if he was floating into ethereal water he's gonna be pretty cool we finally have some UI and a champion select screen menu it is somewhat basic but it's looking pretty good and it works we also currently have a 2v2 game mode ready and available I'm playing on putting it on the discord for a pre-alpha you know play testing and everything session so if anyone wants to download the game please jump on our discord and check out the new downloadable link that I'll be adding here soon with the the 2v2 couch co-op or you can just do a 1v1 if you'd like to as well non-online multiplayer just yet I want to thank everybody at PAX for playing our game and giving us awesome feedback I really look forward to meeting everyone in London for EGX so if you're in London for EGX please come say hi and play our game we also for the first time have some fun merch with some character stickers at EGX I'll be trying to upload once a week from now on on this channel I know we've changed a lot of things on how we upload on the channel, but I'm really wanting to do more quality videos on this channel that more of the casual gamer or people person interested in the game can watch and follow along on the journey. I have five more characters before I want to do an early release of the game. So with a roster of 10, I think that'll be pretty good to have for our online multiplayer so people will have a little bit of a choice. And we'll need to do a ton of balancing on the game. As any kind of MOBA or competitive game needs, you need a lot of balancing to make sure that no one character is super OP and everyone else is having a bad time. That'll be a huge thing for quality assurance and user experience that we'll need to figure out. If you're a publisher or know a publisher who wants to work with some awesome indies, we're looking. Hello. Definitely join our Discord so we notified on our uploads and hang out with the Baka community. I'll also be posting discount codes here and there for our tutorials. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Peace. Physics. Thank you all for your support and being our Baka bros. Happy developing, bros. What's so funny? Ha 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 ha! Uh, how do I add a photo? Okay, there you go. <laughs>